Welcome to Global Music Mayhem, where it's all about the music. Hi guys, and welcome to 2022, my first video of the year. And I just wanted to stop and take a moment to say thank you for all of last year. It was so awesome hanging out with all of you guys. And thanks for coming to the channel to watch videos with me and discuss music and talk other topics along the way. It was a great year last year, and we are just getting ready to ramp up and start moving into 2022. You know, I took the last week and a half or so and didn't do any videos, just kind of spent some time with my family around the holidays and, you know, rung in the new year with the new season of Cobra Kai. I unapologetically and unembarrassed spent my whole evening for New Year's Eve watching Cobra Kai, binged that whole new season. I gotta say, when it comes to that show, the soundtrack on that is always so great. <laughs> like, I mean, I heard so many tracks in there that I know, and then, you know, to have some freshness, I heard some Australian rock with Airborne in there. Yeah, and that was a great tour too. <laughs> I went to that tour of that album for Breaking Out of Hell. Uh, God, you know, there's so much good stuff that I realized I had not binged on that I took some time to, you know, catch up on some shows. I just, you know, dug into the series Legacies. I, you know, I was a fan of the Vampire Diaries and the originals. I like those weird sci-fi kind of stories. Uh, you know, to me, I, it lets me lose myself and my mind away from everything else going on and kind of give me that time to just kind of decompress. And I think we all need to do that once in a while, just decompress that time. The end of December is always really quiet in the music world too. So it's a good time to take that break. Uh, but I can tell you right now, my email box is flooded with all the new music that's coming out this year. There's so much good stuff to look forward to, you know, kick and dyna, uh, excuse me, kiss and dynamite, kick and dynamite. Kiss and Dynamite. Kiss, kiss, kiss and Dynamite. They have a new album coming out really soon. I've got the promo for that. I have not taken a full listen to it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into that really soon and let you guys know what I think. I did just listen to Battle Beast's new album yesterday for Hard Rock Hell magazine. I'm doing the review on that there. Uh, wow, all I can say is you guys have a really great album to look forward to later this month. That new album releases on January 21st. You don't ever go wrong with the Battle Beast album in this one. <laughs> so good. Uh, you know, there's a new Dark Funeral album coming. There's new Mephisto. I've got my hands on the two remasters of Bethlegor that, that are coming out. Uh, I believe it's later this month or early next month. I have seen so many things in my inbox. I just haven't really had a chance to dive through them yet because I'm just coming back to life where music is concerned for kicking things off. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of check in with all of you guys and say, you know, I hope you had that time to enjoy with your family over the last few weeks. And, you know, it seems like 2020, 2021 are rolling into 2022 till still with this pandemic. And I don't know about you guys and if you've traveled or not, you know, my I live with my family here, so we don't, there's not a lot of traveling involved with that. So, you know, I was able to just kind of do a low key Christmas and just a low key New Year's. And so I'm hoping you guys got to enjoy some of that time with your own families. And I just wanted to say hello and welcome you guys into the new year with me. And I really hope you guys had a good New Year's Eve and have, have rung in the new year with something interesting. And maybe you guys have some goals or something going on this year. I don't personally believe in New Year's resolutions because I just think Eh, you know, I live my life in the goals pattern all the time anyway. So I, my only goal really in life is to, you know, be a better person the next day than I was before, or just still to continue to be a good person and to just continue to work on the goals and things that I have in my own personal scape out there. You know, they don't have to be announced or anything. I'm always working on something else out there that's in my mind. Um, and so I hope you guys, you know, have rung the new year in and with a positive outlook, I'm hoping that we're going to move a little further past this pandemic, which they keep saying that they expect it to become the endemic where it's more like the flu towards 2024. And yes, I said 2024. So what does that mean for music the rest of the year? I don't know, but I'm hoping that things will just kind of start getting there and we'll start getting a lot more live music back. I know other areas of, of the United States are still getting a ton of music. We're still kind of in that weird phase up here in Seattle. But, you know, there are things on our books and I'm hoping they stay true because uh, Beast in Black is supposed to be coming out here this year. Um, you know, as I was talking Battle Beast, they're coming to the United States, but they're not coming up to Seattle. But I'm going to see if I can't swing one of those dates somewhere closer to us, because after hearing the new album, I really want to see them live again, just to hear some of the new songs live, because, wow, I think a lot of those are going to sound really great live. But, you know, we're just going to continue on with the positive outlook. And I'm hoping as this year goes through that we're going to just optimistically have our festivals happen. And 
We don't know how anything's going to turn out until we get closer to it. So I'm just going to keep positive and keep planning ahead for the year. This year for me has uh, Sweden Rock Festival. I have Vakken Open Air. I have Hard Rock Hell Sleaze. Uh, a few other things in that mix. Uh, I've got summer indoor in Hamburg. So I'm hoping a lot of these things still continue on, but we'll see what happens as the year goes. And I know you guys are doing the same. We're all holding onto our tickets. I've got the warning at the end of the month that I all the rest of you out there from the warning army fans. Yeah, we're all excited for that one. So I'm hoping fingers crossed we don't lose that tour because of the uptick of Omicron right now. So fingers crossed we want to see the gals up here. But with that said, tons of new music. And so fire away below in the comments. Let me know. What did you guys do over the holidays? Did you guys binge any good shows? Hear anything with any really good soundtracks? Oh, I did some gaming too. I'm, I'm, I'm one of these weirdos that likes to like completist, um, as you can say, to completist. I like to play a video game completist, like all the way through and like all the little nicks and crannies. And I've been on and off with my, and I'm probably some of y'all going to laugh because I'm still working on my Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I came in a little bit later to the game than a lot of other people got it a little further ahead of me, but I'm still doing the completist. And I, since I take a break from video gaming for like a month or two at a time, then I go back and I do other things like if I get some time for it. And that's what I did some of that last week. I, I spent some shameless hours um, working on completing the latest set of um, sequences that they've added to the game. So I'm working through that and do, trying out some other games. And I'm literally, you know, and as we talk about games, because I like the soundtracks on games, I like to build my own playlist and listen to Spotify while I'm playing my games, especially like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, you know, they have some good music in it, but I wanted some more like, I have this one, if you guys go to Global Music Mayhem, um, if you the website or you hit my Spotify playlist, you'll see the playlist I built in there, but it's got, you know, all like the Nordic bands that really you'd want to like be a Viking and slay the world too. That's what I was doing. So yeah, I did spend a little time with that, but like if you guys have been playing any new games and you've got some really cool new soundtracks or you've heard any really good soundtracks on any new series you've been watching, fire away below, let me know what you're hearing out there because I always love to hear what gets pulled into where. And sometimes I hear songs that I missed got put out there somewhere. And there's times like um, a few years ago, oh, what was that? Uh, I wanna say Maverick, was that the show? The Canadian show that they re did the reboot for? So the band Royal Republic out of Sweden, uh, I'm sitting on the sofa one day and I'm watching something during the NFL and, and oh my gosh, here comes their song that they licensed, somebody licensed it for Maverick. And I was like, what? Oh no, it's MacGyver, MacGyver, not Maverick, MacGyver. So yeah, so they remade MacGyver and I was like, what? So I'm like on Twitter and everything going, guys, did you know that your music's being played like in, during NFL commercials? <laughs> and it was the kind of the coolest thing. So like, I always like to see like what other people are listening to or where music gets picked up. So that's always a fun, interesting thing when you hear new music. So if you guys are hearing any of that out there, let me know what you're hearing. Um, what albums are you guys looking forward to hearing this year that it's coming up? Um, there's going to be a lot of releases. And for me, it's like whether I hear about something or not, sometimes it comes from people that are watching the channel, tells me about an album that maybe I didn't know was coming, or I'm hearing about it from PR, or it's a band that I automatically follow. So I know that something's coming, but a lot of the times albums get missed. So what are you guys most looking forward to in 2022 for album releases from the bands that you love? And, you know, yeah, share that away. Fire away below. Let me know how your year's going so far. What have you guys got planned for festivals and stuff this year? What's on your list for 2022? And let's just get this year kicked off. I would be back later this week with new content for the channel, but I wanted just to stop in and do a wrap up of last year. Hello, everyone. And, you know, I've, if, if any of you are wondering about what I thought was great last year, um, I did my list for rocknet.net. That's R O C K N Y T T dot N E T. My year end list is there. Um, and, you know, of course, show ya, they made my top of my list number one because I absolutely loved the brand new album. But there is so much great music last year, and my list is all over the place. And actually, I'll link that link to Rocknet below so you guys can take a look at what I thought you know, was really just in enjoyable for me. There are so many great bands and it gave me a chance to highlight all of the bands from Japan that I have been listening to and loved music over last year as well. So guys, I am super happy that 2022 is here. We can say goodbye to 2021 and push some of that ugh, behind us and just leave it. And just going to the optimistic of let's just see what happens this year and hope it brings a lot of live music and a lot of connecting with people in face-to-face -face time again. Um, not FaceTime, but face-to-face -face time. Uh, but yeah, so with that said, guys, I will see you again later this week. Brand new content. And I hope your year is going slow so far. And I'll see you soon.
Bye.